So, yeah. I know that this guy, Hikari, is playing position 5 for Team Maximus. Okay. Um, so do you think you'll swap at the end then, after picking? Then I think... I'm not sure. I'm actually not 100% sure who's now the... I think Kim is playing plus 4. Uh, actually, I don't really know how they know uh, yeah. what their positions are now. I know Drea is, is the carry. But I'm not sure if Maximus is playing mid or or Mango. And Some tricky skills here, to be honest. Quite a lot of disable and quite a lot of um, like not anti-disable per se, but like you can save quite a lot with Tether there. You've got Astral Imprisonment. You've got Blink. You've got Rage. There's quite a lot of utility there. Ooh, Hikari, you yeah, know, interesting choice. Favoring <coughs> Mystic Snake. That's yeah, really pick. good for Dusa, but yeah, it doesn't stop the Essence Flux. Uh, combos that are in the game yeah and as we predict like reincarnate not even getting past the set first uh first picks because no, way too way too valuable yeah and like i said flag cannon high priority reincarnation like you said high priority and team kid is picking yeah. them all up and we looks like the first picks go to the supports on on radiance that's yeah lots to save now so we got the astral and the blink now on the uh <laughs> Just saying, the Sight. Essence Flux Maximus. is still in the pool. If Maximus is yep. not picking it, then it's left for Io it's, and he can get yeah. fucking Essence Flux with Ball Lightning. And then wait, wait, tether, tether, Tether Infest as well? Tether Infest is also there, oh my god. It, if he doesn't pick it, right. if he doesn't pick it, I hope he knows, I hope he realizes. Oh my god, oh Essence god. Flux, <laughs> Ball Lightning, we, Just come pick on. It, please. So. Okay, okay, Essence Flux. Oh, holy really shit. But literally, literally, Tether Infest was there as well. There's everything it's still here. here. It's What's still the free? first game in the oh tournament? Oh my we god. Crazy <laughs> shit already. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh, that, that's uh, fucking it. That Oh, that, 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 oh I, don't know, I don't even know how to, com I don't even know how to communicate properly. It's driving me insane. Uh, and Tether, yeah, like you said, there's still fucking Tether game. Infest. I think it's even... Uh, uh, what's more broken? The Essence Flux Ball Lightning or Tether Infest? I think it is definitely more aggressive as an option. So like Tether Infest, you're really like stuck not really doing that much after you execute the combo. It heals is... for insane amounts. 100%, 100%. But I think this is just a little bit more active in the game, lets you play a little bit more directly. And maybe they're not sure that the kid is going to get like that crazy broken build just yet. But I mean, Second picks are going out, and it's yeah, still feast, there. Feast on feast with flag cannon, which means you steal you life steal from all the flag cannon hits. So Very he can easy. be on one percent hit once everyone with flag cannon full HP. Hikari has an option here. Hikari could just go. Oh, okay, he's choosing not to. I think this is an outdraft. This is an outdraft, and yeah, nobody's seeing the the tether infest. No, nobody is seeing it. Literally, no one's picked it up yet. That's, That's a wild. counter pick the Arcane Arv, he doesn't want it to go to Io. And Io still has options. Io, if Io gets yeah. Mana Shield and Split Shot, yeah, it's I, 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 does he even need it? No. No. But it's still. I mean, there's, it's just. He it's, can just it's still do it. really crazy. Yeah. He can still just do it. Phew, this is going to be really. He gets Mana really Shield, rough. this is so sad. He can't get. I don't know, like. One, they need to counter Mana Shield somewhere now. They have two choice, two picks to counter it. How are they not seeing Tether Infest? And there's even Spirits I, I, on top. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there's the Mana Shield uh, okay, counter. At least one counter. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, Eidoros, Eldoros can do a Tether Infest now, and he, and they'll be happy. Okay, okay. So no, both teams are choosing not to go for it. Both teams have accounted for it. It's not going to be picked. It's not an option. That's insane, but I, uh, but I kind of understand as well. It, uh, I think Overload I guess, should be picked. Now it's really, I, uh... really broken. But I guess we don't want we don't want to have a four v five with a, a unkilling, un unkillable uh, tank. But that that kind of is okay. This they is really need. Active. They need. They need, crazy, they need though. such good lanes now. Um, on Radiance, they need to win the lane yeah. super hard, get like the early Orchid, catch the Io of Guard. 
There's so much disable on the side yeah. of um, the kid as well. Look at all the control they've got now. Last pick with the upheaval for the hoodwink. And even uh, if you get the Aghanim Scepter, the support Aghanim Scepter for shapeshifts would be quite useful if they have to go to that crazy late game. I still cannot believe that they didn't see both the OP combos in, in this pool. Yeah. Well, and it really went to Space Cowboy on the last pick to pick it up. I told you, Essence uh, Flux should have been the first pick, I think, on Tusa. Here. Would have been the better option. I think they're going to leave the split shot to the Dusa, actually. I'm not sure if she's going to pick it, it up or if there's it. another option. Maybe, maybe, no? maybe it just gets... Oh, Atena is shit, actually, on him. Because he doesn't reach yeah. in mana. Uh, life. Only mana. Okay, last shadow word it is. I'm going to say last word. <sighs> this um, little... I'm, I hesitate to ask, but who do you think came out of that draft with the advantage? Because if... let, um, let's be honest, right? We've seen crazy outdrafts before, and when it comes to the mid game, we've seen huge, huge differences in in what we expected. To they be have strong. Prominent. Let's let's put it like that. They have a strong gyro, and they have a strong yes. lycan, who has really who is really annoying, and both are really annoying in the lane too. Uh, I would assume. Is Rave King the mid? Probably. I so, think so, because Maximus is the offlaner, isn't he? Yeah, normally. Yeah. I would, okay. I would say they have a chance if they run away with this game, but with the lanes and then transition uh, strong into the mid game with an Orchid, early Orchid on, on someone. Yeah, I guess we'll have to find out as the both teams smoke at the start of the game. It looks like we're gonna might have we we are possibly going to have some aggression in this very very early stage of the game. There is two sentries on the hoodwink, a couple just items put... on the. And it looks like yeah. Maximus is the mid. Um, right as well. Okay. Oh, is he? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. And then Mango is the off laner. Okay. And Chiro as expected to save lane. And I think I really think they need orchids to handle this. Making mistakes. Oh, when the kid actually plays the. Okay, now I think it's impossible to, to win for. Uh, <laughs> for Radiance. Well, they they, around. And the kid is playing this broken build. If Space was playing it, maybe. Ah, maybe they oh have dear. a chance. But even yeah. the Storm build is insanely strong. Flag Cannon, yeah, and... Feast, that alone is so strong. Because, and the, like I said, you Space Cowboy first joke as well. You life steal from everything you hit with your flag cannon. So it's insane life steal. If they don't, and then you even can get a scepter and keep life stealing. Ah, oh, this is gonna be rough. I have a little fight here in the bot lane for the first rune. They're gonna commit some of the abilities here, but no one's gonna get really stunned up. A couple of these uh, blood. Bottles are going to be flying out. I forgot the name for a second. Blood There's grenades. a blood grenade. There we go. Blood bottles. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm on, no, honest to God, I actually still a little shaken that we've we, on the first picks of that drafting phase. I, I haven't really quite recovered from watching that. Yeah, that this, me, me neither. Me neither. This is too fucking crazy that this build. <laughs> The first game of the tournament, we're gonna see fucking essence flux with ball lightning. For those who don't know, yeah, you yeah. can you can proc uh, essence flux while you are in ball lightning by just spamming uh, where you wanna fly is, or you can spam anywhere. So once you give a command, let's say you ball lightning from here to the to the base, then you can give com you can still give commands during that, which proc the essence flux. This is too confusing how I uh, tried to explain it, but you just click somewhere with ball lightning and uh, you proc the essence flux, so you never run out of oh, mana. So and you can while sit you're traveling. You, while you're traveling, yeah, exactly. Right, you just spam ball lightning still yeah. because it's not on cooldown, and doing that gives you mana. Yes. Right, I see. Yep, that's that's crazy. I, I can't believe they've got this, this, uh, this draft so early in the game. We can see in the bottom as well, Space Cowboy. Already zoning out the gyrocopter just a little bit. I mean, that's the lane they, yeah. uh, they should still win it because uh, Storm needs a few.
few levels to come online and uh, mana break in the lane is just super annoying. Super annoying. Once yeah. they are out of mana. But, uh, and uh, Mystic Snake is not too bad on the support even. Just spam it on the on the range creeps. And make yeah, it bounce it used to, be to the heroes. It used to give you mana back, which was kind of crazy. It but gives, now it gives I think... mana. Does it still give you mana back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, it does give you it does give you mana still, huh? I thought they stopped doing that for some reason. That's interesting. No, no, no. Not the, sure the, there was a point where it didn't, and then when they changed yeah. to, to having uh, oh, top lane, it looks no like we hit. might have a kill here. As Mango gonna get blink blinked away, Ooh. the creeps have been pulled. He's gonna be saved by his teammate as well as they're gonna use astral imprisonment, playing it very risky. They're forced to be given the tango just to yeah, recuperate a little bit more. Out of return on the lane already. But they Indeed. got the pull off, so they can at least farm under their tower. Which buys them some time to ship out some more region. And mid, pretty even when it comes to CS. Looks like uh, the kid is already starting to stack the big camp. Yeah, already quite comfortably in the lead for EXP as well. Um, but Maximus is keeping up pretty well against the kid with the last hits here, and they're both yeah, equal on the knight. Yes, good base damage yeah. on, on Lycan with Feral Impulse. Ooh, However, bot lane though. Drop. Oh, oh, damn it, top lane. <laughs> I, I caught it last second. Perfect. Elderus <laughs> getting that kill onto Mangology. Looks like wasn't able to really blink out of that danger that time around. Blink was on cooldowns so and did try that, but Elderus caught them, uh, chased them down. And first blood to Team Kid. And I would assume the Lifestealer is just getting a pretty early Scepter, because that's the the strongest aspect of Reincarnation, the Scepter buff. The seven seconds of your hero still being up and being able to deal damage. Indeed. It looks like actually the Radiant have the advantage in the bot lane. Like you said, the uh, Mana Break coming from the Gyrocopter being yeah. very annoying on Space Cowboys. Oh, still stuck on his half HP. He's got extra Tangos now. Um, but it is looking at it. Rare also, the doing a really good job of zoning them out. Attack animation and the projectile on, on Gyro is just so good. Yeah. That's, that's why it's... I've been told before, Gyro 2 OP. I'm not sure where I heard that, but I definitely heard it before. Yeah, I think the Storm said that. The Storm player. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, now oh. Gyro is now the highest win rate hero, by the way, in, in ability draft. It oh, used, really? to be, used to be Nature's Prophet for... Two, last two, three years, but with the latest patches uh, and nature's getting nerfed, now Chiro is the king. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of an audio, weird audio thing. I, I can't hear Io cast any of these spells. Is that normal? I'll hear it. I'll hear it. I had. Yeah, weird. I sometimes have that issue too with uh, not being able to hear. Uh, abilities, oh, yeah, some then you just reconnect to the game and then, then it works. Yeah, I'll try that real quick there, just while, that, while this is going on. Very awkward. And the kids, so IO having a good game is not a good sign yeah. for, for Radiant. No, definitely not. Coming very close to that level 6 as well. Yeah, but I mean, he needs, he needs some levels to, and a, good, a little bit of a bigger mana pool to, to come online. Top lane, top lane. Mangology is going in on Eldoros. He's going to get blood grenaded this time. It's going to be blinking forward, but it actually jukes him out. He's going to try and chase out now. Dry F blink, uh, TPing up to the top lane as well. The glyph has been used. Chanty's going to use the pullback here for the electric vortex, and they're going to find the warlock. And that's going to be another kill on that top lane. And still, overall, a slight gold advantage uh, for Goodness. Radiant. But only 500 gold, so. Indeed. The kid getting uh, rather unlucky with the ball lightning procs, not getting essence flux the proc uh, enough and forced to oh, have to get the. Uh, does too. Oh. Another kill the top lane, unfortunately, as right near that uh, Lotus Pool, just between Lotus Pool and the tier 1 Dire Tower. And looks like they're going to pressure now here on the top lane. Yeah, but. Denied. I don't think they can kill them. Yeah, yeah he just needs mana. Mana, mana, mana on IO, and yeah, 
Yeah, Ma max out the essence flux. Make sure that w oh, works perfectly. Actually, with the spirits, yeah. Now, yeah, you proc the essence flux too with the spirits with moving them in and out. If you get agonims with the spirits, does the agonims constant passive spawn proc Radiant essence flux? No, uh, just your in and out thing, uh, moving them ah, the spirits in and okay. moving the spirits out. Hey, that build is kind of crazy. Um, by, the, yeah. by the way, the Maximus is going to be taking this tower though out of I uh, out of IO's hands, so that's going to be the yeah, first tower a, of the game. It's a really yeah, good his build right too. Uh, Empiric Spirit with Feral, so skeletons yeah. have a ton of damage. Indeed. And although the mid game, although these early game has gone quite c comfortably for uh, the kids team, top lane especially, um, the. To the top the top last hitters are actually going to be oh, the Maximus. Oh, Mango actually yeah. getting a kill Jesus. there. Indeed. It looks oh, like he didn't. Artist level level 6 even. Yeah, it wasn't there in time. Eldoros going to be chased down now by Mangology. He's going to be trying to catch him here. Does land the Bushwhack. And we're not sure they're going to be able to pursue this. He's got Blink in about three more seconds. That is a Blood Grenade ready to go as well. And he's, but has decided against it. He's trying to rush the... Uh, the Veil of Discord on, on Red King. I think he still yep. needs mana boots just to have mana to blink around and uh, use Pulse Nova. That's gonna drain his mana pool so, so, so fast. Oh, and the kid moving top lane. First rotation for him. Treasures. Looking for this kill. He's gonna ball lining forward. Mangology is gonna try and blink away. And there's gonna be the. How to kind of uh, throw and them, throw a them back. Tip, tip for the failed rotation. Oh. And they are like I'm getting the like we talked, they need a fast orchid, he's going for it. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense, and especially with the kids build, you don't want them to get such a un such a um such a control over the game. You want to be able to try and lock them down. And yeah, removing Ooh. their ability to cast spells, pretty good. Top lane though, looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a dive in this tier one. They're gonna try and get under Elder Us. Gonna be blinking forward now for Mangology. I think Maximus just, though, focusing yeah. on the tower. They're gonna get the creeps up here. Shanti moving forward. There's gonna be the pit now to be dropped down. Are people not really landing, landing on any of these heroes? There's gonna be the Infestor trying to escape and Mangology's gonna be walking out of this. He has a blink ready to go. And that's gonna be the end of it there. Quite a decent amount of damage and quite a lot of rotations though from the kids team to the, that uh, tier one tower. And on bot lane, they nearly got the AM with the gyro. Yep, Force use a salve and the Royal Jelly. Actually, it's just the Royal Jelly there that was used. Meanwhile, Maximus back in the mid lane. And he's gonna be shoving that in. On, on top lane. Again, the... they're diving now from Shanti, and I think this is going to be the death yeah. of Shanti. He's got the... Oh, to run out of mana. I yeah, think keep up the damage. That's, that's what I meant. But he's going uh, back for mana boots now. Which is the right choice. Eldor is trying to catch on to Kim K here with the slow. They're going to get the Vortex back, and they're actually going to get this kill. But Mangology, though, Fatal bonds. getting very aggressive. Fatal Bonds is going to be up on him. Is he going to die? I think he's 20 HP. 18 oh, yeah. 5 is going to fall, unfortunately. Mango. Mangology now under That's fire. Sick. He's going to get stunned. The, summons his own rocket for Dreyf. He's going to get stunned again, and he's actually going to be fine under that kill. tower with the, the protection from it. Eldoras not confident about chasing him down there. And another tip, but this came from, from his teammate, Kim K. <laughs> oh. That's great escape. Indeed, Team Maximus showing some teeth here, not willing to let that fight go. And it looks like bottom tower as well. Maximus all over the map here. Tip mid tower to fall first. And now the bottom tower with his teammate as well. Meanwhile, the kid yeah. is slowly farming up. Nearly He's got his scepter and then the... Then it begins. Then He's it about begins. Uh, 700, 600 gold away from that full scepter now. And I don't think he'll be worried about mana anytime soon. Yeah, but Orchid is also coming out soon, so if he makes a mistake... On it will be costly, Ion, yeah. yeah. He needs a dispel as soon as possible after the scepter. The... Not sure what he wants to go for. Since the... Spirits don't work with Manta anymore, do they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that got patched out. Thank goodness. Yeah, it was a stupid abuse, but I kind of liked it, I have to admit. <laughs> it, was, it was bad, but in a good way. <laughs> Top lane again, looks like my 
They're gonna drop the rock this time, and Idarus yep. is gonna be the first casualty. They're chasing now for Shanti. The howl gonna be used, but they're not gonna be able to fo uh, focus him down. Pulsnova ready to go. And they have to keep going. Coming down. And the last tower is gonna fall. They're gonna get the shackle here as well. With a really good use of the bushwhack. That's come Axel imprisonment, and now Shanti gonna be forced to try and run away here. Was an attempt oh, from the body block from Angology, but not really able to get him. The urn are going to be used though, and they're still chasing him down with a giant warlock golem, which looks like a bit of a looks like one of the Grievals. Yeah, and he's going. He's playing a bit greedy here, Mangology. Oh, the kid's Don't jumping win. in. <laughs> the kid's jumping in though. The kid's looking for Kim K, but he's worried about moving anywhere forward, forcing <laughs> Doostar to use the stone gaze, but decides to walk back. And Shanti's actually turned around completely and is now chasing Kim K. This shit show begins, I'm telling you, there's gonna be such a shit show <laughs> for this fucking IO build. He's gonna sip around the, the whole fucking map later. <laughs> Once his mana pool is big enough, he's gonna sip sap. Indeed. Oh, actually, I forgot. The Agonims is also gonna give him Essence Flux as a shield as well, which yeah. would be really, really useful with that map, with that purge. And he can proc uh, the Essence Flux again without investing any mana with the spirits so he's really really yeah. hard to kill he's just so so hard to kill mango in trouble meanwhile top lane mango is gonna fall now elidoras going run forward does throw out the stun a really good fatal bonds on all three but that's not gonna be any damage to follow up on that and here comes the io chasing forward maximus gets the silence off but in about two seconds he's gonna be he <laughs> doesn't have the damage nope Decides to run away. The kid now moving to the mid lane. <laughs> Remember, there is a mana break on the uh, gyro. Oh, my Maximus! It's is forward now again, looking for Maximus. Moving back and forth, he's gonna catch Hikaru Prime with a stun. Still trying to catch this Hikaru. Very low HP here, 50 HP. Not really getting the kill. One more will do it. But he's gonna get Astral instead. Does he have the damage to really chase this down? He's going back in it. Hikaru he gets a little bit of healing <laughs> from the infest, and the now life dealer gets popped up. But now finally Hikaru will, will die. Maximus now <laughs> getting chased down. Drea now being the target. Now Kim K, the, the kid going back and forth. Oh, silence. Get silence! And he's under the tier two, but he's gonna wear off very Not shortly. Enough. And now he's gonna. I don't think anybody. Oh, the shield! He's gonna try and jump the shield procs now. He's gonna try and get away, and he's gonna be oh, perfectly so fine. Oh dear! <laughs> cannot take this game serious anymore. This is too fucking stupid. This build. That's gonna be two quick kills for the scene of, and this is only gonna get worse as Io gets bigger and bigger with an extra purge. It's gonna get worse. In fact, Maximus is gonna be the focus of a lot of stuns here. It's gonna be focused down a little bit, but it looks like Mangology is gonna get the kill instead onto Dreyf. Dreyf. I think the <sighs> Veil of Discord Pulse Nova proved very effective there. It looks like look, Dreyf, uh, Wraith King now Mangology queuing up the Orchid for another silence. Like and already got more, orchids. more orchids and hexes, but because at some point, I'm pretty sure. Okay, he's going for Kaya and uh, Sanch, but he's gonna get some dispels on Io. Yeah. And look at this. Look at him jumping over the whole map. Bot lane now. Drea what can getting double the power. He's gonna survive. No, the silence comes out there, but it doesn't really land because he's managed oh, to Kim K whiffing the, the rock. It's going to be jumped down now by Io one more time as the kid is going to be looking to try and focus Kim K down. That's going to be the kill actually from Draven with the really way, really nicely timed sharpshooter. Yeah, Maximus is going to be stunned up by the I Twitter. see, the, I I see that calling to The final is going to be there, but no, he's going to fall. That's going to be a triple kill for the team. That's the what I meant. Now, once this, once oh, this build gets online. In fact, he's going all the way to the top lane. Mangology now the focus. It's going to be chasing the... Oh, actually, what, what, what is this? Yes. Guys. Yes. <laughs> so they're going to say, fuck this shit. Call the police. This is illegal. You can't they're only get away with this. You they're only... The kid has oh. now killed another person in the top lane after ganking the bot lane. The only hope they have is uh, him not getting a dispel right away. Yeah. So if they max, get like a few orchids, I, even Gyro needs an orchid. He needs five orchids. And a hex. I think, I think you do, yeah. Warlock queuing up the hex now, but, but I mean... A, it's a, a long way for him, 3k gold. Indeed. 
Bot lane, they're gonna go for this other kill. There's gonna be a stun onto the rocket, onto the sharpshooter. Yeah, but gonna guess who slips in soon? There he comes. Here he comes, here he comes, look at the mini map, here he comes! And oh, he doesn't land by the right place, he gets Astral Imprisonment straight away. But the kid's looking for Drea and finds Drea under this tower. There's gonna be the Stone Gaze coming out from Hikari, but Drea is pretty much about to die. And he does fall to the kid. Kid gets silenced. Oh, but double damage Maximus on Maximus! Maximus. Damn it. Ah, not enough. He's, he's gonna get purged, he's gonna try and zip away, and he's gonna be totally fine. However, they do get two quick, swift kills here. I cannot even fall. Now the kid getting at Astral again. Maximus now going on to Space Cowboy, but Space Cowboy's got pretty good lifesteal as well. He's got the Aghanim Scepter also, so that yeah. bonus uh, Flat Cannon side gunner doing its job with the Feast to yeah, heal him kid, up very quickly. Kid creating all the space for him to farm a Scepter. And ah. later on, even the, the Storm is going to be super strong. Indeed, I'm not sure what he can actually do in this scenario. Like, you need so much. The kid's already got the Cayenne Sanji. It looks like he's queuing up one more item there. He's got the Voodoo Mask. This could be a pet Revenant's Brute. It probably is going to be a Bloodstone. Or maybe he's just going for pure damage and going the Dagon. I, I, I think the Dagon, it looks like it's a Bloodstone, yeah. I would have said Dagon. Dagon. Dagon seems pretty good here. The kid. He wants lane. to give them a chance and uh, not get a dispel. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He... he... <laughs> I think at some point Radiant is gonna be like, okay, fuck this, I'm gonna cheat you out, because this is just... Yeah. The ground is very unsteady between the, uh, beneath yeah, their feet. Look at the, look the at graph. The now yeah. he literally finds one hero and jumps all the way to the bottom. Maximus is probably the only person who can counter him right now, and even then Maximus is now under threat, as he has to be very careful. He's chosen to infest the creep to try and run away. Actually, to force to, and the kid's just like, "Okay, that's fine. Your carry is on your on his own. I can just jump for under him." Forced to use that shadow word to try and keep him alive, but the rest of the team for the kid is coming here as he plays with them under the tower. Yeah. Dre now going to be the focus. The infest is going to be popped, but Dre is going to finally fall. The sharpshooter is going to come out and kill Maximus nice. now, and the kid's going to get another kill, and that's going to be a double kill under the tier two, and and he zips completely away to push out the rest of the lanes. In fact, he's going to probably find Mangology if he's quick. It looks for him. He doesn't really have a stun, actually, now that I realize. So if there's anyone who's going to get the TP... Pushing out the lanes. And, and there he goes, going all the way back to the mid lane. I don't think there's any way of defending a triple lane push with infinite How the mono. fuck did they leave him that build? Yeah. How did that happen? Oh dear lord. I can't keep up with him on the map. I actually yeah, can't I mean, keep you know, up with him. It's, <laughs> it's literally it's impossible. Too much zip zap. <laughs> if you're not sure where he is, just look at the bottom left of the map. Whenever you see that yellow arrow, that's where he is. Diving deep into the base of uh, Maximus's team. And it looks like Maximus is going to be the first to be falling here. And they do drop the rock from the Warlock, but it looks like it's going to be way too little too late. As Kim K going to be the next focus. Astral to, to begin with. The kid already waving, trying to get a high five here, but they literally have forced it's to stay in the, in the fountain. It's in the fucking fountain. Minute 19. And, and about 20 minutes in, I think this game is finished. The kid still not he literally did. is on the, in the fountain while everyone else is picking the racks. <laughs> Looks like the golem got the kill on the, on the yeah. And look at the damage Dre just took from the spirits. Jesus Christ. He even has the spirits talent now, so. The kid now also going all the way back to the top <sighs> lane. Gonna be trying to kill these creeps. This is just too uh, much to spill. This coming is back to the bottom much. lane. Oh, they at least get space. Oh, the but... damage. Trail's gonna get one first kill. They're gonna try and get the second one. The kid's gonna use going back and forth. Looking for Hikari. Hikari's gonna wand up. But now there's no silence. There's going to be the pull now on Maximus. Maximus is now going to finally fall. And they're going to look for another kill there. Kim K probably going to be the next casualty. And it will be the next casualty. Casualty. So the double kill now. Buying back here. And maybe in a hope to defend. But the kids yes. decided, you know what? I'm just going to quickly go to the top lane and farm up. And now it's level nice 18. So even faster. Ball lightning. Yeah. And, and Maximus just, just pulled it. Yeah. They know. That's the right choice. This was. <laughs> This is fucking Actually, impossible to um, I'd like to point out, do you, instead of the Bloodstone, look what he's decided to build. A rapier? Uh, yeah, he picked Dagon. Uh, <laughs> so I was right. That was a yeah. bit too much, I have to say. I think 
very clearly outdrafted in that in that game. I couldn't believe they left that combo in the last. Yeah. Uh, and you saw once he got his enough items, it was just. To be fair, if they had drafted the, the <laughs> Tether Infest, maybe that would have given them one hero to stand up against the IO, but but it was just, I think, too little, too late. <sighs> just leaving that completely broken combo um, in the pool yeah. was... It's 10-0 and 5. It was really hard to say that they had a chance in that game because that combo, it, it didn't look... Like there was any way of countering him, even with the silence on. Like, how are you gonna eat through all that HP of the strength IO? How are you gonna get deal with the damage that he's outputting as well? And as soon as you miss a single stun, as soon as you miss your opportunity, he's just full mana and untargetable again. Like, it was just gonna be really, really rough for them. So, if you first game, yeah, you can just sip. You're untargetable the whole fucking time if you just keep sipping, sipping, sipping. Zip zap. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, the biggest yeah, mistake like, yeah. was just simply leaving that. Not picking Essence Flux yeah. first on the Medusa was what lost them the game.